In this video, we are going to be talking about the different parts on the pin setter machine. So to start off, down here the wooden part is the pin deck, and that's where the pin set. So the white conveyor belt looking piece is the carpet, and that brings the pins back to the pin wheel. This black piece is the curtain, and it keeps the pins from coming out of the machine. This is the pinwheel, and the pinwheel carries the pins from the carpet up to the distributor. The distributor takes the pins from the pinwheel and moves them to their spot in the bin. The bin is where the pins rest until all ten are in their spot. Underneath the bin is the table, and right here is a cup cell. It sets the pins down on first ball. Also in the table are finger cells. The finger cells respot the pins when it, the machine is transitioning from first ball to second ball. The finger cells are connected to the arms and the arms move them. The finger cells are connected to the arms by linkages. This is where the balls enter the ball return from the pit. Once balls enter, they are brought up from the ball return belt to the front ball return. And the black plastic piece in the middle is the ball return paddle. And the ball return paddle moves back and forth to keep from two balls entering at once. And this is the ball return belt. It is responsible for moving the bowling balls from the pit to the front ball return. Next, on top of the machine, we're going to be talking about the three different motors that the pin setter uses. So over here, next by the pinwheel and the control box, there is the pit motor. The pit motor controls the carpet, the distributor, and the pinwheel, which is also known as the pit, which is why it's called the pit motor. This is the table motor, and it controls the movement of the table up and down. In front of the table motor is the sweep. The sweep moves away excess pins. This is the sweep motor. It controls the movement of the sweep. And then the silver box up here is the chassis, and that is the brain of the machine and controls all of its functions. So this is the control box. It is in charge of controlling the entire machine like its name implies. There are different power switches for the machine. This switch is the main power, which controls the entire machine. This side is the mechanic switch to turn the machine on when the machine's not on in front. These are the different motor power switches. This is the button to switch from first ball to second ball. This is the button you use to cycle the machine. This is the, the switch you use to run the sweep. And in order for you to use the reverse sweep button, which brings the sweep back up if it's stuck down, you hold down the sweep and the reverse sweep. This is how you use the reverse sweep button. When you are going to get into the machine to work on it, make sure to flip the mechanic switch off, the main power off, as well as all three of the motor switches. Now we're going to show you what a full cycle of the machine looks like and where all the pins go in the machine using all of the parts. And in order to turn the machine on when it's off like this, we're going to turn on the mechanic switch. So currently the machine is on second ball. We are going to hit the cycle button to get the machine to set down a full set of pins. When the machine detects that there is a full set in the bin, the pins will drop from the bin into the cups that are located in the table. The cups will then turn and set down the pins on the pin deck. The table will go back up into its original position. The machine is now on first ball. The bowler would go ahead and throw their first ball. We're going to pretend that they just rolled their ball and we're going to hit the cycle button. The table will drop, the finger cells will close on the pins to pick them up, and while the pins are off the pin deck, the sweep will come through and push the fallen pins out of the way. The table will set the pins back down and the finger cells will open to leave the pins back on the pin deck and the table will go back up. The machine is now on second ball. The bowler would go ahead and roll their second ball. Any pins left on the deck will be pushed away by the sweep and back onto the carpet. The carpet 
will take them back to the pinwheel, which will bring them up to the distributor. The distributor will then carry each pin off the pinwheel and set them into a spot in the bin. The distributor will place the pins in the bin in the order shown in this picture. When the last pin gets placed in the 9-pin spot, the 9-pin lever will be triggered and that will tell the machine that there is a full set of pins in the bin. Next time the machine is on second ball, the remaining pins below will be swept away and this full set in the bin will drop into the table and be set down on the pin deck ready for the next frame to start. Now I'm going to show you what happens when the machine needs to cycle, but there's no pin in the 9 spot. So as the last pins get put into the bin, I'm going to grab the last one to prevent it from falling into the 9 pin spot. We will then cycle the machine, the sweep will go through, and it will stay stuck down. It will stay down until there is a pin to trigger the 9 pin lever and tell the machine to set down the next full set. 